The overall goal of this procedure is to assay the gene regulatory activities of thousands of DNA sequences in parallel. This is accomplished by first constructing a reporter library where the DNA sequences of interest are linked to reporter genes with one or more identifying sequence tags in their three prime UTRs. The second step of the procedure is to transfect this reporter library into a population of cells. The final step is to count the number of occurrences of each of the identifying sequence tags in the reporter mRNAs and the corresponding reporter library by deep sequencing. Ultimately, results can be used to infer the relationship between the DNA sequence and activities of gene regulatory elements through computational analysis of the sequence tag counts. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods like luciferase or GFP-based reporter assays is that it allows you to assay thousands of regulatory sequences in a single dish of cultured cells. This method can help answer key questions in the gene regulation field, such as which nucleotides within the promoter or enhancer are essential to its activity. This method can be used for a wide variety of other experimental designs, such as screening large library of putative regulator elements for activity in a specific cellular states. Demonstrating the reporter library construction procedure will be Peter Rogov, a senior research associate from Burr Technology Labs. Demonstrating the reporter library transfection and RNA recovery will be Li Wang, a senior research associate from my group. Massively parallel reporter assays, henceforth referred to as MPRA, begin with the design and synthesis of sequences to be assayed.